How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and I am your host on the ultimate Lego DIY show. Today we're going to be building a Lego robot. It's going to be super sick. Uh, essentially I've already designed a robot and I posted on my Instagram. You guys really liked it. So my plan is to take that robot and make it look like a super cool post-apocalyptic like thing with like a gun and like a I mean a blaster. That's the plan. It's going to be super easy. Let's get started building the body of the robot. All right, so we're gonna start with the torso. So you're gonna need these simple pieces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this piece here. We're gonna take it, and then we're gonna put this little uh, lever base on the bottom like so. We'll build this up pretty fast here. We're gonna take this piece, this right here. We're gonna put that in there. It's like a little Technic piece, so put that on the bottom. This is now the chest. Uh, I just realized this guy's a really big chest. He must work out a lot. Then we're gonna take this little Lego wheel and this piece, put it in like that. And then, now you have a spinning head. That's his head. Uh, it's kind of lame, we might upgrade that later, but for now, just build the base with me. Um, build the base, guys. We're going to grab this little uh, little snot bracket here, put it like that. I'm going to put this one by one tile here, put that chain piece there. This piece actually broke off a chain. I can't remember if it was on accident or on purpose, so you really don't have to use that. That was just there for the original design. I'm going to grab two of these pieces like so, and then we're going to grab two little minifigure hands and put them on in the middle of that. And those fit perfectly, as you can see. All we gotta do is hinge these inward. And now you have some weird back detail. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then, this piece actually doesn't go to that. Or wait, does it? Yeah, this piece goes This piece goes to the legs. I don't know why I put that there. So now we have the torso. Super simple like that. Let's go ahead and build up the legs, and then we'll do the arms and the gun. So, All right, so the legs are really simple. We're gonna take this piece here, which is a uh, ball joint. We're gonna put it in there. Do the same thing with the other leg. Let's just build them at the same time, they're really easy. This is actually half of a piece, so let me grab that piece so I can show you guys. All right, so this is an illegal technique, an illegal connection, but I really like it. So basically, we have this piece here. You take this off by just pulling that way, and then you have this piece, and you can have two of them. So if you just have one of these pieces, you take out that middle part. Uh, so we only really need one of those. So if you have two of those, great. You can actually take the other piece off too. Anyway, all right, and then we're gonna take these two pieces we're going to put a clip, so we're going to grab a clip like that, and then a clip like that. We can then connect these to the upper legs, just like that, just fits on there. And as you can see, it kind of snaps in, kind of clicks, and then you can rotate the knees pretty simply like that. We're going to grab two more of these clips and put them on the hips on the inside like so. And so now we have this like that, and then it actually goes like that. And then we're going to grab the feet, the feet are super simple, grab this little lever base thing, with the fork, and then we're gonna put a, another lever base on the bottom. Two different types of levers, guys, it's crazy. Crazy world. And put it like that, easily, just attach this like so to the back of the bottom clip, and then it has toes now. Isn't that cray? That's gonna be my new thing. So here we have the cool legs, and as you can see, they're not really connected. So we're gonna take this, this uh, blaster piece, this toy blaster piece like here. We're gonna put one of them on the back of it, and then as you can see, we're gonna put this one on the front. So essentially, one of the legs is going to be in front of the other, but don't click out. It actually looks really cool if you if you stand it up. See, look how cool that is. Look at how leggy those are, leggy Legos. And then to make it even cooler, we're going to grab two more pieces that I did not forget. To make it even cooler, we'll grab two more pieces for the front of this, and then those can sit right there, just like that. Just give it some more depth. I don't really know. Just put it on there, okay? All right. So now those go like that. He's got two feet, he's got two heels, and we can connect this to the torso using, oh yeah, like this. So you take that little piece in the back, and as you can see, it connects just like so, and now he has a torso. You may think, this looks like garbage, and at this point it does, but don't worry. We're gonna make this look super cool, and even before we do that, it looks way better with the gun. And uh, So <laughs> here you can see the arms, super simple. I'm gonna start with this clip piece, uh, any color you want. We're gonna put this piece in it, and then follow it by this piece with this piece in it. So we're gonna take this uh, this Lego stud with a hole, put it like that. I'm falling apart right now. And then we're gonna put that on like so. So now we have that. Now we're gonna take another one of those pieces and now we have the front of the arm. We're gonna put a clip in for the hand and this will be the left arm. That's left, my left, your right. So the right arm for you. And then same thing, except the front of this arm is gonna be kind of worn so we're gonna transition to black. So we're gonna take our black piece right there, 
And then we're going to put this piece here like that. And then the clip. So we've kind of transitioned into the black arm. So maybe it's worn or like battle damage or something. I don't know. So now we have this arm to go on this side, right? And then we're gonna add this little piece here, which is a minifigure hand to give it more detail when we attach the gun. And then we're gonna take the blaster and we're going to put a minifigure hand on it right here, like so, just snaps on like that. And then two more of those uh, little pieces with the holes, like so. So now we have a cooler looking, cool looking gun like that. And then you can put this in his hand and hinge it over like that. And then boom, there you go. He has a cool blaster in that hand. So now if we attach this all together, you can see the creepy looking robot we've created. It stands up really well with those feet we made. And now you can see, now you can see he's got a cool, he's got a cool little blaster in one hand. Here's the picture I actually originally took. It had this guy named Jerry in the front. Um, I just named him that because I don't really know why. Jerry just came to my head for some reason. And look at that, guys. We built the robot. All right, now for step two. We built this awesome robot. We're going to take Jer Jerry, probably Jerry, I don't know. We're going to take that guy and throw him over there. Now we have this super cool robot. Now my plan for this guy is to make him look like a post-apocalyptic robot that maybe has a backpack full of like a ooze or something. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna start by taking off these back pieces. And I've never done this before, so this is my first take at building this particular thing. I'm gonna take everything kinda off. So we'll just start with the front. We gotta upgrade the blaster. So one of the things I know this guy needs to be is more scarier, because he doesn't look super scary right now, so I wanna fix the head. Uh, maybe we'll add a hoodie or something. Here we go, we'll give him the, uh, <laughs> uh, no, that's that's horrible, we're not gonna use that piece. So what if we hid one of these? Okay, I love this, I love this, here we go. What if we hid one of these underneath, like a mask? I really, really don't like that. I hate these pieces, why did I put those in there? That honestly looks like the worst. All right, guys, legal technique alert. We're gonna take this piece in here. We're gonna put it in like this. And then we're gonna put the hood on. We're just gonna force the hood on. All right, now that we have that, let's go back to this. Literally the inspiration for this entire thing comes from this whip piece and this little bottle here. Not too tied into the bottle, just because it looks kind of odd. But we might be able to work something out. Oh yeah. really good actually and it also holds it in which is helpful all right so now I think he needs like a cape or something all right so we have some capes Ooh, I just got kind of chills because this is sick nice all right guys I don't know about you but that looks very apocalyptic to me all right so now he's got this cape looking thing which looks really cool in my opinion if we put the legs on I'm guessing it's gonna look even better. It's too nice though, like it needs to be more ragged. Like I don't want it to look too much like a cape. Oh, guys, that looks like trash, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna go, oh guys, it looks so cool. This is looking sick right now. I mean, honestly, it looks like we haven't gotten anywhere, but we really have. It's been a while. <laughs> so let's do this. Looks good, let's take this piece off and put a hand on there. Just change it up a bit. That actually looks way cooler. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Nice, that's looking great, guys. Now I wanna give it like a glow underneath, so I'm gonna use one of these pieces just to kind of give it like the essence of a heart. Even. What camera am I looking at? The essence of a heart, you know, like a, something glowing underneath. Why does that feel so wrong? Pull that up, it's so creepy. Nice. And we can just pop that back on there. And now it looks like it's it's got ooze or something. I don't really know. All right guys, here it is. Here is the apocalyptic version of the robot we built earlier. As you can see, it has a hood. It's got a bunch of capes I put on there. Uh, you can see in the shots here that it's got a little tube of like 
ooze or goo. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. And I think this turned out really cool. I'm really happy with it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see the actual poster that I'm going to make. And it's gonna look pretty sick. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe go check out a couple others. I got a bunch of them up here. And I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you then.